Hey, I'm Jenna with The Hesitant Homesteader, and today I am going to show you how I'm going to make a simple curtain to hang on my new curtain rods that Ben created for me a couple of weeks ago. Now step one of this process is to wash your fabric. You wanna make sure that any shrinkage or weird things that are gonna to happen to your fabric when you wash them happen before you sew them so that things don't get whopper jawed and all off. Um, so I washed my fabric actually a long time ago, several, several weeks ago now at this point, um, but it does come out very, very wrinkly. So I've just been working on getting this massive amount of fabric just ironed out so that I can start cutting and get things lined up and in place. Okay, now that I have my fabric all ironed out, most of it's done, um, I'm going to take the edges and any place that I have long strings like this that started fraying during uh, from the washing, I'm just gonna take those and snip those off because that makes things a little bit cumbersome when you're trying to start sewing. Okay, now that I have all of this massive amount of fabric all ironed out, does take a little bit of time, I am going to lay it out and start measuring um, and get all of this cut to size. Okay, now when you're measuring for your curtains, don't do weird things. You want to measure from almost the ceiling where your curtain rod should be hung all the way to the floor. You want your curtain draped on the floor. You can see behind me over here, I have a curtain hanging. You want it kind of dusting the floor. If it hangs a little bit short, it's kind of the equivalent of wearing pants that are too short. So don't do that. Okay, now from my ceiling, where my curtain rod is, to my floor, it's 98 inches. Um, so I am going to allow for my hem on both sides of the fabric. Um, and I want my hem to be about an inch. I want it to be a little bit heavier of a hem. So when you're doing that, it's going to fold over twice. So that means that I'm going to need to add two inches for each end of the fabric. So an additional four inches onto my fabric. So I'm going to be cutting these all at 102 inches long. Now because my curtain rods are fixed and they're stuck into the wall, they are screwed in, they're not going anywhere. I need to be able to remove my curtains in order to wash them. So because of that, I'm going to create some cute ties up at the top. So I'm cutting fabric strips that are about two and a half inches wide. Um, and I'm cutting it the whole length of my, or the whole width of my fabric, which is about 42 inches. Um, so what's, what's going to happen, I'm, I'm gonna show you in a minute how I go about sewing this so that I get just a long, skinny strip, um, but this is going to be through the curtain rod and then up at the top and then we're going to be able to tie it into just a bow and it will hang from the top up there. But because I'm just doing these curtains to kind of frame the window, they're not functional. I really have no need to ever close the curtains. Um, they're just going to frame the window and look pretty, absorb some of the sound in the house. Um, give us a little bit of softness and all of the wood that's in our room. So because of that, I just have narrow panels that are gonna go on either side. And so really I only think I need about three or four of these tabs in order on each side. So that's kind of what I'm going for. I'm gonna test it out as we go. All right, I'm gonna start with the curtain panel now. Now, as you can see, my curtain is not that wide. And like I said, I am just going to be lining the sides of my windows in between some wood with this fabric. Um, it's not going to close and actually cover these windows. It's more just for aesthetics and look, maybe to absorb a little bit of sound. So what I, you're going to do, um, if you've never sewn a hem before, you're going to take, I'm gonna start here on the long edges. 
um, and you're going to just fold this in about a half of an inch um, and then as you this is going to get this edge can be frayed so you want to fold it one more time so that that frayed edge is going to be inside of there and it'll be nice and clean now when you go to sew this you want to make sure that you're sewing along this inside edge in a nice long straight line otherwise if you sew over here it would be here and you're gonna get some stuff that's flapping so you don't want that to happen um, so if you can sew a straight line you can definitely make these curtains because really it's just a big long straight line you're just going to keep going and going and going until you get it nice and hemmed you're gonna go all the way around it um, and then we're gonna add the tabs to the top